Hello everyone, this is just going to be a real quick short video that shows you a way to get around a current bug in Premiere Pro having to deal with uh, importing QuickTime movie files. So um, for instance, I, I created this new Premiere Pro uh, project right here and I want to import a, a QuickTime movie that I recorded with QuickTime as a screen record and I want to go and I want to edit that out. I made a little mistake during my, my video and I just want to cut that out and re-export the file, right? So it's something very simple. So normally, you know, with, with Premiere you'll just sort of drag the file and kind of drop it into your timeline here and it will import it um, and then you normally have um, the audio track as well as the video track as you can see QuickTime got confused and actually wasn't even able to import the video so my video was lost and if I play it you know there's no video content and only have the audio um, and you can see that right here under our, our sketch um, under our, our, our assets right here and I, I'm just unable to drag in any sort of video content from this video. But I know this video has video in it, right? So if I open it up real quick in QuickTime, you can see it's just like a little tutorial I did on how to use um, Sketch and Principle, right? But it's just not important. Now, um, this is something that Adobe is working on. They say they're going to fix, but um, there's a real quick and easy uh, workaround that you can do in the short term in order to get this to work. Um, the first one you can do is you can use a tool such as uh, Handbrake. You can convert it to a different file format, so I can convert this to MP4. But you can see this is a large file, it's almost two gigabytes, and then this entire conversion process takes about 25 minutes or so, which is pretty ridiculous, and that doesn't really work. And plus, it's lower quality, it's compressed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The easy workaround is I can simply go in and give this a different extension. So if I give this an extension of .MP4 instead of MOV. Um, Finder will complain, I'll say, hey, this is a .mov file, are you sure you want to change this extension? Yes, we do. Um, and then now with a different, with an extension that is not, not .mov, we can drag it in, oops, we can drag it in just like any other clip, we can leave it in the timeline, and then there we go. It is able to, uh, is able to recognize this and we're able to import it in. I was complaining because we, we renamed the file, so those audio tracks that we had in before was, was broken. That link was, was no longer there. But you can see now if I played in um, uh, Premiere Pro, we have access to all of that video content in addition to the audio mm -hmm. content. So hopefully that was helpful. This is something that I kind of struggled with a little bit until I found this quick little workaround. I figured it's something that should be shared and you should all know about. So hopefully that helps. Until next time.